guys, it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing. And you know, for years and years, I was dealing with these crazy symptoms, had no idea what I had before my fibromyalgia diagnosis. Since I was diagnosed, I have been able to obtain remission and now I help coach other women so they can reclaim their lives and are no longer gonna be controlled by their diagnosis. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about holistic wellness for women. Whether it's depression, anxiety, osteoporosis, fibromyalgia, ovarian cancer, or even heart disease, these health problems are affecting women worldwide today. Our gender can be predisposed to issues that have a psychological root, whereby our mental health affects our physical health. This sets off a vicious cycle, causing further impacts on our emotional, and mental health. The best way to really achieve optimal health in all areas of your life is to really strive for a holistic wellness. Here are two of the elements that we as women can address. Number one is our physical health. Physical health is one of the elements of holistic wellness. Without it, even a person, or even if a person has taken all of the other elements of holistic wellness, you are not gonna be able to achieve full holistic wellness. Cardiovascular disease accounts for one third of deaths over the world just for women. Diabetes afflicts more than 70 million women worldwide. And this is really a sad state of affairs considering that cardiovascular disease and diabetes can be prevented if a healthy lifestyle is adhered to. One which would include regular physical activity. Physical health doesn't just include exercise though. Physical health also includes eating a healthy diet. So when you're eating a healthy diet, you really want to make sure that you're getting in all your nutrients because many women are found to have multiple vitamin deficiencies as well as deficiencies in omega-3 fatty acids. This adversely affects um, your body and it's really time that you take a good look at what you're eating. I have a really great tool called the rainbow evaluation that can be um, looked at and completed to see if you're missing anything. Comment below if you'd like to get a copy of the evaluation and I'll get it sent out to you. A healthy diet for you may not be suited for another woman. Every woman has a different chemical makeup, medical history, and level of physical activity. Therefore, you shouldn't compare yourself to somebody else. And if you need to modify your diet, you want to make sure that it suits your own body's unique needs and that your carbohydrate intake, your proteins, and your fats are suited just for you. Here are a few suggestions for you to consider if you need to change your diet. One is you should choose a variety of fruits and vegetables to make sure that you're getting an adequate diversity and quantity of micronutrients and you should be using organic foods when possible. You want to make sure you're observing your protein, your carbs, and your fat portion sizes, and this is going to help to ensure that you don't go overboard on any one in particular. You also want to observe your plate portion size so you don't overload it. You should also stop eating refined grains and load up on the whole grains instead. You should also be increasing your intake of vitamin B6 so that you help to reduce symptoms of premenstrual syndrome. Also, you should be making sure that you're including iron-rich foods, especially if you are in premenopausal years. You should stop eating ultra-processed foods and minimize processed foods as a whole. You also should be utilizing grass-fed, no antibiotic, pasture-raised sources for your meat products and wild-caught fish when possible. A woman's nutritional needs really vary um, throughout the different stages of our lives. It changes during menstruation, pregnancy, and reproductive years, not to mention in menopause and postmenopausal years. Our emotional health if a woman feels good about herself and her life, it really makes it easier for her to cope with all of the things that she has to be and do in one day. One minute she may need to be a wife and then the next minute a mother, a daughter, a friend, or an employee or an employer. And having to deal with all these different roles in a day can really cause emotional problems such as anxiety, depression, which really can lead to further problems within these relationships. 
A woman's emotional health can also affect her physical health. Um, for example, she may experience chest pain, high blood pressure, ulcers, all of these which have an emotional cause. Therefore, it is really important for women to express yourselves. You want to cope appropriately by dealing with these emotions um, for the sake of our own emotional wellness. We have to be critically evaluating what makes us sad, angry, frustrated, and then really find a way to address these emotions. We just can't continue to bottle everything up as this really damages us and our overall health. If you think you or someone else needs to help get help emotionally, you really should be seeking help from a qualified therapist or a counselor. In my practice, I do use CBT and uh, mindset training to really help women overcome their emotional contributors. Physical and emotional health are a really great place to start when you're looking to achieve holistic, all-encompassing wellness. However, although a great place to start, you don't have to wait to achieve physical and emotional wellness before you address the other five elements. You really want to make sure that even targeted um, some of these elements, um, if you've already targeted them before, um, even without knowing it, that you're really starting to just add this to your life. And the more that you learn about holistic wellness and how it can help you improve your pain, your fatigue, your brain fog, and any of your other fibromyalgia symptoms, um, this is, is such a great tool. So if you'd like more information or you'd like to learn more, click the link below and set up a 15 minute call with me. And if you'd like um, the video, make sure that you subscribe, click like, and you know, if you have somebody out there that could benefit from this, share the video with them. You know, we are all in this together and fibromyalgia is tough, but when you learn the holistic wellness benefits, you will be amazed at how good you're going to feel.